Now that you've seen me demonstrate the first problem-solving technique and had the opportunity to practice it, here is a second problem-solving technique. So here's another recursive method, fly. It again takes uh, one parameter that's an integer called x. Um, you'll notice that it's similar in some ways. It still has a terminating condition. If x is less than 1, return 1. Um, but then this is a little bit more complicated. You'll see in the else branch, it says return x plus fly of x minus 4 plus fly of x minus 2. There's multiple recursive calls here. If we were to trace this out, it would become cumbersome, hard to keep track of. Um, likely we'd make a mistake. And so I'm going to show you a second technique here that is more appropriate when um, the tracing gets burdensome or really just the rule of thumb to go by is if there's multiple recursive calls within the recursive method, this technique can be more effective. So instead of just tracing, I'm going to create like a little table where I'm going to keep track of the value of x and I'm going to keep track of the value of fly for that x value. And I'm going to start completing this table when x is 4. So when x is 4, if 4 is less than 1, that's false. So we're going to return x, which is 4, plus fly of x minus 4. 4 minus 4 is 0. Plus fly of x minus 2. 4 minus 2 is 2. And then for each call to fly in this column, I'm going to create another entry for x and complete it. So I need one for 0, um, and I'll need one for 2. When x is 0, if 0 is less than 1, that's true. It's going to return 1. And so I can replace this with a 1. When x is 2, if 2 is less than 1, that's false. So I'm going to return x, which is 2, plus fly of x minus 4, 2 minus 4 is negative 2, plus fly of x minus 2, 2 minus 2 is 0. And then I can create a column for each one of these. A um, couple things to note here. Well, first of all, fly of 0 we already figured out is 1, so I can substitute that. I can create here negative 2 and say if negative 2 is less than 1, that's true, so that returns 1. So I re could replace this by 1. I might be able to reduce the number of rows here by simply replacing this row and saying it's if it's less than or equal to 0, it will always be 1. That could work too. But now here I can see 2 plus 1 plus 1. This equals 4. So fly of 2 is 4. And so fly of 4 is 4 plus 1 plus 4 is 9. And that gives us our answer to this recursive one. So I have a couple more problems for you to practice this technique on, um, and we will go from there.